What's going on this week in Nerf? Welcome to This Week in Nerf, your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. I'm Adriana and we've got some pretty sweet community creations coming, so let's get to it. We finally got more information about Dart Zone's newest iteration in their Pro Series. And I don't mean blasters, I mean the tournament. They're partnering with Drac and Foam Pro Tour to put on a series of events, all leading up to a $10,000 grand prize at the June 19th and War Finals. Five player teams can attend one of four qualifiers. November 21st in Florida, April 16th in New Jersey, May 21st in California, or right before the tourney on June 16th in New York. Modded blasters are allowed and encouraged at the qualifiers, however, the top eight at Indoor will compete using the three Dart Zone Pro Series blasters. This seems to have gotten some mixed reactions from the NIC, but personally, I love the idea of leveling the playing field and letting player skill decide the matches. And in addition to the grand prize, the second place team gets $4,000, the third place team gets $1,250, and the top two teams of the qualifiers will receive a $1,000 travel voucher in addition to some sweet jerseys. I know competition will be fierce in all the regional qualifiers, and I can't wait to meet you on the field. And now it's time for Rapid Strikes. <laughs> hey, battery. <laughs> Reddit user Palm Topper found these micro shots in new packaging at Walmart. Instead of the usual plastic clamshells, Hasbro appears to be shifting to a recyclable cardboard instead. Love to see it. Designer Daniel Garcia published beta files for the Chain Dozer, a Mega XL Boom Dozer mod that feeds from a big chain of shells. This mod is insanely customizable. The shells come in 13 different flavors, from Mega to Elite to Boomco and, and more. Uh, they can all be linked together in any combination, and Garcia also included a step file if you want to create your own shell. It's a win for open designs. Busby, the kings of weird blasters, hit us with a zinger this time. The bug hunter is exactly what it sounds like, a blaster for hunting bugs. All you have to do is load it up with table salt, prime, and fire. There's no word on availability or price just yet. After a very long wait, the Kelly Industries Rapid Strike switch plates are finally back. These circuit boards make soldering a breeze and require only minimal shell cuts to install. They can be had for $19 on the Kelly Industries webpage and will be available for purchase very soon. We were right! Tony S on Twitter shared this photo of the Elite 2.0 Prospect QS4 and it's exactly what we thought it would be. This blaster is a four-shot smart AR pistol, just like the Alpha Strike Fang and the Quadrat. It's got a plastic scope molded into the shell too, which looks pretty sweet, uh, but there's no word on when exactly it'll hit store shelves. Discord user Leah posted these two target listings for clear versions of the X-Shot Chaos Orbit and Meteor. These might be the unreleased Phase Clan clear versions that were leaked a while back, but we can't say that for sure. Neither can we say when these will be on shelves, but the Smythe listing had the Meteor at 15 euro and the Orbit at 25. And take that with a grain of salt, as always, with these leaks. Captain Slug has published the latest and greatest revision of the Caliburn and Talonclaw. The Caliburn 4, or C4 Caliburn, and the T4 Talonclaw. This new revision ditches the U-channel and the threaded rods of the old versions and is entirely held together by a bunch of aluminum flat bar. Slug says this should make it the sturdiest Caliburn yet. He also included a whole host of cool features. It can swap springs faster than the old Caliburns, it has the takedown features of some of the older versions, and stronger prints. The C4 comes with an optional link style air brake instead of regular plunger padding, which should make it both quieter and reduce wear. The files also include Slug's passive talent adapter. It's pinned to the front of the magwell, allowing you to use the regular mag release instead of one attached to the adapter. Slug says that a mega version probably won't happen, but he's on the fence about a possible C4 rival burn, so stay tuned. Hardware and completed blasters can be found on Captain Slug's Etsy page. A hardware kit for either the Talonclaw or Caliburn is $64. A complete Caliburn is $140, and a Talonclaw is 
Both blasters will also be available soon from Silver Fox, who don't have the hardware just yet, but are currently selling prints. And now it's time for the mod of the week, and this week it goes to Gunner Leo with the Cabbage Shredder. Inspired by the Bastard Gun from Metro 2033, they carefully combined a swarm fire with a mag strike and somehow managed to make it function. Honestly, the fact that it works at all is astounding. There was so much careful tweaking, cutting, gluing, and minuscule adjustments leading up to actually firing. Once the function was complete, they moved on to form. Uh, magazine shells were added to the sides of the blaster to cover the weird swarm fire bulges, as well as an X-shot eliminator for the battery tray and front grip. Then comes the putty. The front of the trigger well is completely made of putty. Half of the mag well, also putty. <laughs> Add some paint and this thing is done. There's a long write-up with a ton of pictures for anyone who's interested and it was a pretty good read. So thanks so much for sharing it. And that's all the news for this week. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, the links to everything that I talked about are down in the description along with that like button and the subscribe button, which you should hit because we got a new streaming rig set up upstairs and it's pretty sweet, so there's uh, some streams and more tutorials and stuff like that coming up in the future, and I think you guys are going to really like it. So that button should hopefully, maybe, give you a notification. Uh, and that is, that's all. But goodbye. Uh, that's, that, 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 that's all, folks. Don't sue me, Warner Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs>